Hey, hey. Haven't seen Shogun Episode 5 yet. I'm still on episode... Well, I just finished Episode 4. 5 just dropped today, so I haven't seen it yet. I'm excited, though. 4 was so good. Thanks to the membership, Joaquin. The resub lemonade. Oh yeah, we can talk about Dan Schneider's uh, apology video. We're gonna go over the whole Dan Schneider thing. Hey, it's Boogie. No, what the fuck? I did not see that annoy. That's terrible, though. <clears throat> hey, Dankin. Hey, Scoots. He's resub, Zuck. Any idea on how to deal with hemorrhoids? Besides Preparation H, uh, change your diet around. Thanks, membership, nobody. I still get hemorrhoids from time to time. Shit sucks. Still haven't looked into it yet, SL. Just know the basics. I'm surprised the documentary didn't have the Nickelodeon predator or the Nickelodeon editor that was caught on to catch a predator. It didn't have them in it? I haven't seen the documentary yet. We'll, we'll get into it in just a second. But I haven't actually seen the documentary. I've only seen his apology video, which came out today. Where he did, like, this very staged interview here. Like, which, which is, like, the most softball thing ever. We'll dive into that soon. And then also, like, the general broad strokes, big takeaways from the documentary. But I haven't actually watched it yet. I plan on doing that either tomorrow or the next day. Next resub underdog in the gift sub comic. Resub thing. Joe, Explo, Pelican, and Juice. And yeah, I know about the Puniverse. Should be fun, hopefully, I guess. We'll see. I think it's a membership Rainbow and Savvy. And I don't know, Savvy. We'll see. Just people were mean to them. And yep, we talked about that, Ollie, a lot. <clears throat> no idea, Genji. Like I said, I haven't seen it yet. Your dad's still rocking the high seas every night. He's on World of Warships pretty much every night. That and I racing. Thanks, Resub, Lizzie, and Natty. Do I think the Fallout show is going to be good? Um, I think it might. It has a chance. I saw what they said about not trying to please fans. Doesn't inspire a ton of confidence, but I think I understand what they meant. I think they were talking about, like, fan service. So, like, things that don't necessarily have a place in there that they just do to get, like, a, ooh, point eight screen type shit like Star Wars does. Thanks the membership razzle-dazzle in the resub gesture. Annoyed.
I don't know who that is, Diamond, but I guess I can look at it. Thanks for membership, Ricky. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero gameplay tomorrow. Fire. Thanks for your morning step. What's Sandland? <clears throat> I don't know that one. Fiend Prince Beelzebub forms a strange trio with his chaperone demon thief and the human sheriff Raoul. Together, they will no, set can't off do that, epic Genji. journey Absolutely in search not. of the legendary spring. Oh. ...that awaits. Fight is coming. Fists up. Oh, you some Chapman. In combat, Beelzebub is a ferocious fighter that has access statics. to light and heavy attacks which can be chained both on the ground as well as in the air. Don't forget to dodge. I feel like I saw something from this at one of the sideways. showcases, but it Sometimes. didn't stick with me. It does kind of remind me of Dragon Ball. Someone said it's based on like a, an old manga. Get closer Is that to right? The, you will power of important resource that you can receive. I don't know, maybe I'll try it when it comes out. And hey Luke. Sorry to hear about the lactose intolerance. Thanks for your substone. It's one of Toriyama's mangas. Oh, is it really? Oh, shit. Well, that explain why it kind of looked Dragon Ball-esque, I suppose. I'm doing alright, Raz. Hope you're doing well. I don't know, Blue. I don't know if I'd go through all of that. <laughs> Have you seen the IGN article on Bungie and all the discourse around Marathon changing from custom characters to preset characters and heroes? I saw none of that. Thanks to Tier 1 Lightning. There's a live police chase in L.A. right now. Yeah, there's a live police chase in L.A. every hour of every day. I don't watch chases live. Someone could get hurt. So I only watch the ones where no one gets hurt. Thanks for some crusade. If it's a cool one, though, I'll check it out after the fact. Thanks for Prime Caro. I'm not sure, Evan. I don't know anything about it. Plus, I didn't see the first one. Nope, we're going to talk about the Dan Schneider stuff in a minute. <clears throat> Has your dad seen the alien egg pods that were discovered today? Alien egg pods. An alien egg pod in a reservoir sparks UFO speculation. Well, considering I didn't get a phone call from my father or a text message with 40 exclamation points, I'm going to assume my dad either doesn't know about it or it's not really an alien egg pod. But I don't want to be ruled a, you know, a closed-minded skeptic here, so let me take a peek. Bizarre alien egg pods pulled from reservoir spark fear over body snatchers as locals warned more coming. That's one of the more schizophrenic headlines I've ever seen. That seems like it was written by someone of sound mind and body. Is it tier one Casper? Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is going to be a boring fucking fight and that's my prediction. And no, I'm not in it, Sean. Thanks for your sub pub. <clears throat> Strange alien egg pods pulled from a reservoir in Oklahoma are causing panic among, among netizens, with many fearing they are aliens from outer space. Amid the speculation, wildlife officials have warned that the bizarre creatures will multiply this summer. Is this a video of it? I don't know, this is Build Your Business with AI. Cool. Exit tier one diamond. And yeah, of course Zach will be more. Plague Seeker new release win. 
Issue 1 just came out yesterday, literally yesterday. So it's out. It posted, what is that? If you're boating somewhere near McGee Creek Reservoir, you may notice these strange jelly-like balls hanging from submerged tree limbs. These are bryozoans, and they'll likely show up in large number this summer. Don't be alarmed. These microorganisms are native and are of no danger to you or wildlife. In fact, they're an indicator of a good environment, quality, and clear water. Bryozoans, or moss animals, are aquatic organisms living for the most part in colonies of interconnected individuals. They can be traced back as far as 470 million years ago. That sounds like a government cover-up to me. Goddamn aliens are down here multiplying on our tree limbs. Happy birthday, Sid. There you said, Peyton. And yeah, we did talk about that efficacy, I saw. Is Godslap and Plague Seeker drawn by the same artist? Nope. Two different artists. <clears throat> Alright, let's get into the Dan Schneider stuff. So, the docuseries dropped, which I talked about a few days ago, that it was on the horizon... And as I think everyone expected, a lot of big information came to light. A huge one was about Drake Bell and an individual named Brian Peck. Now, like I said, I haven't seen the full documentary and the entire context surrounding it. I just saw all the information from it afterwards. But apparently Brian Peck sexually abused Drake Bell and actually went to prison for it for like 16 months and after 16 months in the slammer, dude landed a job almost immediately with Disney. Which, if that doesn't show you that there is something deep-seatedly evil about the industry, I don't know what does. Brian Peck was the guy's name. And that is wild, musty Jesus. And there was a lot more as well. Some of the other ones, like Amanda Bynes, there's a lot of information there. Uh, huge bunch of bombshells came, come from this. And Dan Schneider then got an interview with Boogie from iCarly. And this interview is painfully staged to try and make Dan appear sympathetic and not bad. Dan Schneider is someone I think everyone in the world knows has a really creepy past. Like, this guy is the boogeyman of children's programming. Like, his reputation has spread far and wide. There's even those rumors that circulated, though I don't think there's ever been any evidence where he may have been the father of Jamie Lynn Spears' baby type shit. But, like, he had that, that contest where he had kids send in pictures of their feet because he's a foot fetishist which is a question that doesn't even come up in this interview by the way i don't recall feet ever being mentioned here even though he is like a well-documented foot fetishist who had a lot of the child actors and actresses showcasing their feet prominently and then there's also that like a uh, potato thing that he had ariana grande do or whatever none of that being addressed in here but yeah he's got his uh apology tour going on Is this the first time people have seen him since he left Nick? I don't know. It's the first time I've seen him since he left. He used to be significantly heavier. Now he looks like Rip Torn. He looks like he has been deep faked as a Rip Torn model. So he's lost a lot of weight. Things are said Pav. He looks like he's wearing a disguise. He does. He actually does look like he's wearing a disguise. Like his uh, neck beard looks like it's glued on. Is there some time consumer in Moogie in the Prime Battle Axe? They did talk about foot fetish briefly. Where? The only question I recall that even teetered on that is when towards the end Boogie did mention like uh, the sexual predator stuff. And I think... It wasn't like confronting him directly about the feet stuff. It was like, do you think some of these jokes like this aged poorly? Like adults looking back on this now and finding something wrong with it. And basically Dan's response was, cut the jokes. 
I don't want to offend anyone if these jokes didn't age well or people look at them through a different lens and they feel they're inappropriate for children. Cut the jokes. But it was never really confronting him directly about his foot fetishism. Needs to give some Tacoma. What's wrong with foot fetish? I mean, if you like feet, man, you can. But he's he was a kids show director who had the kids portray or uh, like showcasing their feet. That's not okay. That's the problem. Bringing kids into the fetish. Jeanette came out with her book and indirectly mentioned her indirectly mentioned her time at Nickelodeon. I never read her book, but I did. I mean, I know about it. It's called uh, "I'm Glad My Mo I'm Glad My Mother's Dead." I think is what it's called. Thanks, Risa Bazalia. Is this interview recent? Came out today. In lieu, er, in light of the uh, docu series dropping, he immediately set this up to defend himself. So it, it came out today because of all of this. Oh, well, thanks for the confirmation, Arthas. <laughs> Appreciate it. People are mad at the Neds. People are mad at the Neds. De de Jesus. People are mad at the Neds declassified kids for making fun of the situation. Yeah, I saw that floating around where they were making jokes. And people were saying that it's pretty tasteless and weird to be making jokes about something like that. But I didn't actually watch the clips or anything, so I don't know exactly know what they were saying. I just saw that kept floating around. Respawn just tweeted about Apex, what'd they say? Here, I'll pull that up and take a peek. Okay, I'll look at that in a minute. Thanks to give sub Yemi and the resub Steve. That's awesome, thanks Jimmy. And I did see that. I saw the Halo 2 original servers are back. Thanks to resub Stomp. It's interesting how the response video came out so soon after the docuseries drops. Feels like he had this prepared ahead of time. Oh, this shit had to be cooking. Like, the, everyone knew this was coming out. Like, the, I talked about it a few days before it came out. Like, this was a well-known thing that was on the horizon. I guarantee they had already pre-planned how they were going to combat this. It's not a coincidence. You hear the stories about the British TV host Jimmy Seville and the scandals this Nickelodeon documentary had me thinking about it. Thanks, Risa Brum. Yeah, I remember that one. That one was dark. That's a crazy story. Because he got away with all of it. And it was like an open secret, too, that he was preying on so many. And then he died without without any of that ever coming to light. Thanks, Risa Zoro. And yeah, I can check that out, Antonio. That sounds awful. Once I read about it, I will for sure, Con. Is sub Twinkie? <coughs> Thanks, 
Just checked and Drake Bell also sent inappropriate messages to a teenager. Yeah, that was a case a few years back, actually. That was a big case, too, because that was still during the era of, like, um, COVID Zoom trials. So his trial was public. Like, on Zoom. So they, I remember there was, like, a viral video that set Drake Bell's court hearing to a laugh track to make it seem like an episode of Drake and Josh. That shit was crazy. That was a wild edit. Thanks for your mercy. Is it tier one, kitty? Thanks for the membership, Sleuthy. You see they made a cinematic universe with Winnie the Pooh horror characters. Yeah, and then Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Thanks for your ship, Sparlight. And solo leveling's been pretty decent so far. Yeah, here, I'll pull up the Apex tweet real quick. I haven't read it yet. This is four minutes ago, an update from the Play Apex team. On Sunday, a few professional Apex Legends players' accounts were hacked during an ALGS event. Game and player security are our highest priorities, which is why we paused the competition to address the issue immediately. Our teams have deployed the first of a layered series of updates to protect the Apex Legends player community and create a secure experience for everyone. All right, cool. Here's hoping everything gets fixed. It's been long enough. Thanks, Kamal. Doesn't really give us any information, but at least it's an acknowledgement. No idea ever wake, but I did I did notice that as well that YouTube keeps recommending like fifty view videos, which is pretty cool. That would be awful if that turns out to be true, Antonio. And yeah, I've seen a bit of it, man boy. The Apex anti-cheat software has kernel access to computers, basically admin rights, and anyone that can find exploits to it can hack your PC, doubt it's fixed. I've read conflicting reports on that. I know PirateSoft made a, um, well, not made an investigation, investigated what was going on earlier, but I didn't get to check out the entire thing. But I've seen conflicting things about that component. Thanks, Risa BB. No, I didn't know that. Effigy, that's awesome. I'll have to check out the Blu-ray then. And no, I didn't, Moni. And hi, Kamal. Nice membership clockwork. Thanks for your support, man. No, no worries at all, Jacob. You're totally fine. Thanks for your support, Spaz. Sorry, sorry you also saw Imaginary because that movie was awful. It was nice to meet you, though. How far do you think you'd get on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Not far at all. A lot of that information is just shit that uh, you don't remember if you don't actively use it. So, like, a lot of... It feels like a lot of trivia stuff, and I'm just not good at trivia. Never have been. Yeah, that was, that was like, last year, right, Flips? Or am I misremembering? Maybe I'm thinking of something else. A quick text message. And no, I haven't finished it, Caleb, but I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would.
Yeah, we were just talking about the Dan Schneider stuff. And no, I don't know that Snorri snack. It's a Prime Zac Efron. Yeah, we playing some Siege in a little bit. Did you see the video of the thief doing yoga outside a bakery right before robbing it? Yes, I did. That was an interesting strategy. Made sure to get every possible angle of her face in this. Her stretches were very impressive, though. She's certainly limber. Okay, don't want to get DMCA'd. Yeah, she's hitting all the important yoga poses here. It reminds me of that viral video from that TikToker who makes, like, the skating videos. Like, milk getting poured in their face and all that. And then goes and robs it. Charlie before he break dances, Bro, I don't stretch. I go in cold. That would not be me. The short version of Pirate Software's investigation is most likely server-side exploit with Apex, not an EAC. Well, that's good, I guess. I suppose. That's super sweet, Jacob, but probably not tonight. I just solo queue. I try not to get carried. Thanks to the Bitsmoth. And a Greed Crunchy. It does slap. So is it safe to play Apex? I would say probably. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I don't think you're going to catch the cooties from it. Like, I don't think... I don't think you're going to get hacked if you play Apex. I think it's very different from what happened in Dark Souls. There was a glitch in Dark... Glitch is certainly the wrong word. There was a vulnerability in Dark Souls where if you got invaded by the hacker, he could legitimately put things on your computer. That was a like that that was extreme. I don't think Apex is anywhere near that. And I did see that video earlier today, Magic. That shit was unhinged. Thanks for some clone. Happy birthday, Mac. Hope you have a great birthday. That's super sweet. And yeah, I'm excited for the new Shogun. This thief didn't even steal much, by the way. She stole the baker's shoes, iPad, cleaning products, and some croissants. Yeah, it says right here. Mm. Thanks for the gift sub one. Have you read the details on the FFA's? Have you read the details on the FAA's audit on the Boeing production line? To test the seal of a door, they used a hotel keycard, Dawn dish soap, and a wet cloth. What the fuck? Can't say I saw that. And I haven't heard that new song, Antonio. Boeing situation going crazy. Yeah, that's the newest Red Thread episode we're filming tomorrow is going over the Boeing whistleblower situation and, and Boeing as a whole. Boeing is, it's shady. It's, I would, even if I wasn't afraid of flying to begin with, like a, a legitimate flight phobia, I would not be going on any Boeing flights. It, I just don't trust it. Things of prime water. I got hit with the Dark Souls exploit in Dark Souls 3, broke all my equipment, put dummies in my inventory to get banned from online, and made me max level all in like 10 seconds. Alt F4 wasn't fast enough. Yeah, you can't beat it. It's too quick. Oh, holy shit, Ulysses. 
Thank you so much for that. Lisa Prime Mystic. I have no idea, <laughs> but I, I appreciate the generosity, Elises. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for membership, David. You think Boeing will come after you next? No, fuck no. We're just a, a drop in the bucket to them. They set their sights on, like, the actual big dogs. <coughs> Thanks for membership, Russian. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be playing Dragon's Dogma 2 on release day. Thanks for some coconut. It won't be tonight, Diamond. I gotta look into it. Thought you were going to replay the original. That was the plan, but then I wasn't home yesterday. And today I kind of just want to play Siege. Plus, I rewatched like... Uh, I watched the speedrun, and then I rewatched like a little bit of a Let's Play. I don't know if I'd like the original Dragon's Dogma as much as I did back in 2012. Or was it 2013? I don't remember when it came out. And I'd rather not ruin that. I'd rather just have the fond memories. There's a Prime Zero. Resub Hunter. You said Skippo. Holy shit, I'm super sorry to hear that, Anson. Man, I'm wishing you the absolute best. That's fucking awful. Stay strong. Is it tier one Rasputin? God, Jesus Christ. Is you should subdue. I'm sorry to hear that, Anson. You remember when YouTube videos had tags and when you tagged your video with sex and porn you got more views? I made a Kingdom Hearts AMV when I was 14 in 2007 that got 49,000 views because I named it Naruto New Episode. I mean, I, I remember back back in those days, yeah. Nice. He's a prime punk. Happy early birthday, Curie. And no, I didn't see that happen, Dave. I work as a ramp agent at Delta, and I can tell you Boeing planes are the worst. They are old and look like they're falling apart inside and out. And they'll kill you. Like, the like assassinate you, I mean. Thanks, membership steroid. Which mouse game? Thanks, Reese Dilf. Thanks for some cloudy. Then Alley. Thoughts on Shogun so far? It's amazing. I think Shogun is a must watch. Showing is super good. You see the Kai Sinat fan getting chased by police on TV while Kai watching it? Bro even went live on Instagram. That's what chat was saying. So that police chase just ended, apparently. I didn't know if the second part was true or not. If he actually live-streamed it just being a fan of Kai. That sounds like baloney, though. It feels like it was probably fake. Oh, was that was confirmed fake? Okay. It was just a guy that was doing a promo. Gotcha. He's a prime twin. It sounds like an awful game, Bap. Jake Hole music reaction videos win. I actually just found Jake Hole's music the other day. That's crazy. How did you know I found that music? I, I've only told my friends about it. Thanks, Arisa, bro. I saw that uh, Code Geass song, and it was fucking amazing. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Thanks for resubsense. The gifts of lightning. Did you put it in your playlist? Oh, that might be it. I did put it in my playlist. That's probably how we found it. 
No, not J. Cole. His name is Jake Hole. It, okay. I'm not going to play this whole song for you, but it is the unironically catchiest chorus I've heard probably in the last six or eight months. Yeah, I'll do Siege later. But yeah, that song goes crazy. I don't even remember how I found it, but the other day I stumbled upon it and that chorus had me hooked. It was crazy. Thanks, Resub Filzy. Yeah, it reminded me of, uh, what what the fuck was that one? Not the Shawty Wanna Fuck song. The song that I was bumping before Shawty Wanna Fuck. But yeah, I don't know, that chorus had me hooked. I was like, damn, I'm sold. <laughs> no way you put that in your playlist? I love that song. <laughs> I sing that chorus sometimes by accident. It just gets stuck in my head. Mainly, I don't know, maybe because I just love Code Geass so much. So to see it used in that context was quite the uh, surprise. There's a Prime Zay and the Gifts of Lightning. And Lick. And you sub G Storm. Have you seen the Russell Howard Good News? No, what's that? It is a crazy producer tag. That is true. Oh, thank you so much for that, Crack. That's super sweet. Thanks for a long time of watching. Thank you for that, man. And I just always use the Apple earbuds because that's just what I have. Thanks for your subrash. It's not like I love them. I actually think they kind of suck. This is what I have. I don't think I've ever seen that Sasquatch. You have to check that out either. Any update on the Glorb guy lore? Yeah, I'm interviewing him this weekend. That's uh, that's all I know now. Right now I'm still in the dark just like everyone else, but I'm going to get to the bottom of that. I'm going to sniff him out. Lack of maintenance and cutting corners in airlines has been an open secret since the 90s. It was the workers that made it possible to not have things fall apart until now. Oh yeah, I know. I know. It's fucking awful right now, man. That shit is scary. Is there some Samaritan? In the tier one terror. That's on the Suicide Squad anime. Um, I don't know. I have mixed feelings on it. Initially, I was kind of hype. Then I wasn't kind of hype. And now I'm just right in the middle. The Suicide Squad is just so abused as a property. Like, I don't know what that can do to make it really interesting. I'm sure it'll look good, though. Like, it already does. Thanks to the Resub City. I do have that TSF. That's out there. Mm. 
You think you'll play? Yeah. Yeah, I might. And I did see that she's doing the ending song for the Suicide Squad anime. That's really, that's really big. Like, huge congrats to her for that. And doing alright. Hope you're doing well, PJ. Alone in the Dark is tomorrow. It is, yeah. Alone in the Dark remake is tomorrow. He's a tier one, Maddie. So tomorrow I'll be playing the Alone in the Dark remake. Hopefully it's not super long. I'd like to be able to beat it in one sitting. So hopefully it's only like six to eight hours. I'd like to crank through that and then get ready for Dragon's Dogma 2 the following day. No, I haven't seen that Aristotle. I was told by my brother, who's an aeronautical engineer, to cancel my flight home for spring break because I was going to be on a Boeing 737 MAX. He may have just saved your life. Thanks for your support. And thanks, guy. I hope you enjoy Plague Seeker. Fuck yeah. What do you mean by that, Meats? What's the, what's the face of it? It says online that it's around eight hours. Perfect. Then that'll be enough for me to complete it in one sitting and get it right into Dragon's Dogma. Alone in the Dark is getting shit reviews, is it? The very first thing is, Alone in the Dark is actually pretty good. What's IGN have to say? Long before the evil became resident, the hill Well, I don't think he's dead or anything, the space TM. Dead, there was another seminal survival horror classic that established a lot of the fright heavy mm. fundamentals. I don't need the history, I already know I about it. I myself evading an unstoppable cosmic horror presence known as the Dark Man through a vast multi-level library, while in another I had to adjust reflected beams of light to open locked doors in a dusty Egyptian tomb, like something straight out of an Indiana Jones adventure. It worked. On that note, the puzzle design in Alone in the Dark is of a consistently stimulating standard. It's a 64 on Metacritic and reviews are all over the place, seems just mid. Options. I set the puzzle solution settings to old school and reveled in slowing down for extended periods of time to pore over each detail in the surroundings or thumb through pages of collected notes in search of hidden clues. I'm looking forward to it, Uprising, yeah. I think it'll be good. Shotgun, machine gun, and for one brief stretch towards the story's end, a flare gun is your lot. This modest combination perhaps remains true to the more simplified roots That's sweet. of survival well, thanks, horror. Boy. But it never really allows for much in the way of strategy beyond I mean it looks like it'll be a mid game like the annoying bats and the beefier guns for anything bigger in the notable absence of it's the alone in the dark game management. that comes out you never tomorrow sweat about which weapon to prioritize either and since there's no upgrade system or alternate ammunition types the gunplay feels just as rudimentary from the first shot fired to the last shell shucked there is admittedly a far greater number of melee weapons to pick up, but they all seem to have roughly the same impact, whether they're blunt or bladed. And Fuck yeah, buddy. Hope you enjoy Plague Seeker, man. Fuck yeah. Wooden or, or a steel That's super sweet. I generally have no problem with breakable weapons, but my issue with Alone in the Dark is that you can only... Can you tweet me the name of that YouTuber so I can look at it? Once your fire poker snap what do they give Let this game? You a drink. Speaking of the plot, I opted to play as Edward for my first playthrough of Alone in the Dark story which took roughly eight hours to complete. I then opted to play again as It's like Emily, a 360 HD remaster. It was yeah, kind of. Same experience. But I don't really care as long as the, the gameplay is good. Scenes are slightly different. Is that the unhinged story conclusion? <laughs> Edward and Emily also share a near identical arsenal of weapons, with the one slight exception being that Emily's pistol can hold seven rounds per clip to Edward's six. Therefore, playing as Emily means having to endure fractionally fewer pistol reloads, which has to be one of the most minor differentiations between playable characters, since Ken and Ryu donned different colored karate, suffered aggravated far. What do they give it? Of and Emily Allen fights priest ability narrative can't compete with Dead Space, and it's not nearly as scary as they gave it a six. Undoubtedly, a step up from the three decades old original. Alone in the Dark fails to escape the shadows cast by the <coughs> temporary survival horror titans that it helped spawn. I mean, I'll still try it. I mean, if it's too boring, I won't finish it, but it seems like a game I'll probably beat just for the sake of it. I guess we'll see, though. You gonna watch the next MXS Valorant match? I actually watched the one today, I just wasn't home. 
We were doing some wrestling stuff, so I was watching on my phone. Boys were looking good, though. But yeah, next one I'll probably be watch partying. And no, I'm not going to be reading the Dune books. I'm just going to watch the movies. Hey, Crit. Thanks, membership, Ion. And I have not seen the new Godzilla Save the Earth update. And yeah, it's kind of old era. It's just the repercussions just hit for her. I know you're into bad, goofy horror movies. What's your opinion on Strangers Chapter 1, if you've seen it? It's not out yet. Right? I just saw the ad for that last night. Yeah, it comes out on May 17th. Things of Prime. Kosterik. Happy birthday, not human, and I'm sorry to hear that happen to you. I hope you're doing well now, though. Hope things are looking up, and happy birthday, lightning. How does Blood and Honey get a sequel? It's the same reason Blumhouse keeps pumping out terrible movies like Imaginary. The budget is so low and people are going to see it regardless. Like, it, it won't be a ton of people, but it doesn't need to be. There's going to be curious people or people like me who like bad horror movies that are going to buy tickets and it will make its budget back and more. It'll make a profit. That's why. That's how. Also, I gotta take a shit. Give me two seconds. I'll be right back.
weg. Boah. What do you mean? I was obviously washing my hands. You could absolutely hear it. Also, while I was shitting, I scrolled Twitter for a second and saw something very interesting. Let me pull it up real quick. And it's not like a poop pick or anything. It was a... on... where is it? It's about the Willy Wonka experience. Which is, seems to be the gift that just keeps on giving. The lore to the Willy Wonka experience disaster is deeper than Scientology at this point. Somehow it just keeps going. God, where was the tweet? I just saw it. I still have it pulled up on my phone. Here it is. Hey, well, fuck yeah. Thank you for that TSW, or TS, TSF. I really appreciate that. I'm sorry to hear about your barn. That's awful. Hope everything's all right. So the Willy Wonka experience organizer, Billy Cole, says the event ruined his life. I have lost my friends. I've lost the love of my life. I was made out to be the face of evil, and genuinely, that's really not the case. He received hundreds and hundreds of hate messages and has been dubbed Willy Wanker. Absolutely goaded name. Despite claiming to only use AI for spell checking the Wonk for spell checking the Wonka scripts, it's been uncovered that he published 16 AI generated books last summer on Amazon. There are so many things to immediately debunk just in this here, it's crazy. Such as the out like mind-bogglingly stupid claim that he only used AI for spell checking when one of the promotional pieces talked about serving up sweet teats as opposed to sweet treats. Like, it was all AI-generated art that he used to drum up the hype. And yet he's trying to claim with a straight face <laughs> that he only used it for spell check. Hold well, on, let me pull this up in case you guys don't remember. Where's the originals? Here's some of them. But I need to find, like, the, the full breakdown of the the OGs. So shit like that. And then this was in real life. All of these. Very clearly AI generated up there. And then where is, like, the... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to go back. Why can't I find the website pictures? Hey, happy birthday, Nugget. Hope you have a great birthday. He removed it from his original site, like the House of Illuminati, which is what he calls himself. And now I can't find those pictures. I guess it worked. What the fuck? Where is it? Warner Bros. Discovery or delisting Adult Swim games off Steam? I, I remembered reading about that. I can listen to it off stream, Tempo, sure. Yeah, and I heard they polished up the animation for the Blu-ray for JJK, which is pretty cool. <coughs> None of the articles have it. I'm gonna have to go back to one of the videos. It's so crazy. What a shame. Hold on. I know I had it in mind. Let me pull it up, I guess. Well, oh, I did Willy Wonky. <laughs> Not what I meant. But here, immediately to it. That's perfect. So, like, this was on their website. This was, like, their uh, main poster. And he's trying to claim that he only used AI for spell check 
when there is no spelling even close to accurate in this whole thing here. Enchurning entertainment, catgagating live performances, karchi tons, exarcidary lollipops, a passadice of sweet teats. Man's out here offering fucking sweet teats. Trying to claim that he's not using AI for anything more than spell check. He should be smited where he stands. That man should never be able to <laughs> hold an event ever again. Not even a birthday party for his own children. It should be a criminal act. Also, I also, I'm pretty sure this is just a lie, too. I've lost my friends. I've lost the love of my life. I was made out to be the face of all evil, and genuinely, that's not really the case. You weren't made to be the face of... You weren't made to be, like, the face of evil. You were just made to be the face of a clown. Just someone to point and laugh at. And there's no way you lost the love of your life. You're telling me your wife left for you? <laughs> the wife saw this blunder, and she's like, Alright, I'm packing my bags. I'm out, Billy. This was the final straw. You're a bad man, Billy Cole. And I will not have it any longer. If you were his wife, you're telling me you'd stay? Yeah, what? I, okay, let's assume... Okay. Let's assume I'm Billy Cole's significant other. I, and I actually loved him. I'd weather the storm together and be like, Listen, Billy. The fuck were you thinking? You'll get through this, though. Just do anything else. You, like, just do any... No one even knew what you looked like until you started singing your sad song on the world's smallest violin. You could have easily done anything else and no one would know it was you. <laughs> like, you would have been fine. I, I would have I would have helped steer him in the right direction as opposed to be like, alright, I'm out of here, Billy. Fuck you. How dare you. Though, respect to her, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> God, this was so cringe. I can't be seen with you anymore, Billy. I'm gone. No, nah, that's awful, TSF. That's terrible. Yeah, Willy Wanker is a great name. Thanks a resub, George. Also, he could have easily leaned into this, by the way. The Unknown was a phenomenon, so much so that there's even talk about an unknown movie, which was his AI generative Willy Wonka villain about the evil chocolate maker that lives in the walls to frighten kids on the Willy Wonka experience who's only defeated by tidiness. Like, he could have absolutely crushed it with that. This guy's such a fucking goober. He doesn't understand anything at all. <laughs> like, he, he had gold in the palm of his hands. He was behind one of the most talked about disasters since Fire Festival, and he had the unknown right there in his fucking meaty little claws. And he let it slip away by singing this sad song about losing his wife. I, I'm assuming it means that whoever his significant other is left him. But also, there was a little bit more information about Billy here. So, apparently, this isn't even like the only scam he's run, which I knew. He'd run others in the past, but he did more than I thought. So a few years back, he also canceled a Santa event after collecting a bunch of toy donations. <laughs> like, that, I mean, that's about as low as it gets. Like, okay, scaring kids with the unknown and a really shitty warehouse Willy Wonka experience from Fiverr, whatever. But taking a bunch of toy donations for a... A toy drive for Christmas and then just running away with it like the Grinch. Like, come on. You are the unknown. Things are some overflow. When did that happen, Nicholas? Like, just now? Like, or, like, just recently? Hey, congrats, human paint. Uh, the high is a pretty good hotel in Tampa. It's in, like, a pretty lively location. And for food spots, it all just depends on what you like. There's so much different food. Like, we have, like, really good restaurants. Sushi, I actually think we do really well down here. Thanks, membership, Oscar. Become Willy Wanker's new spouse and guide him on the path of righteousness. It's not too late. 
You think the Unknown has a chance of showing up in the Pooniverse? I think so. They already have their lineup put out there. Let me pull it up. There's probably room. I love the name, the Pooniverse as well. That's so fucking cute. Well, it's not cute. But, like, they cooked with it. So they have... Where is it? Here. They have the Twisted Childhood Universe, Bambi the Reckoning, Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare, Pinocchio Unstrung, and then Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, and Blood and Honey 2. That's the universe. And here's their promo art for it. I guarantee none of these movies will have above a $1 million budget, but they'll probably make at least 10 mil each. And they're all going to be just as bad as Blood and Honey. I got hella long nipple hairs, any idea why? Just a lot of testosterone, you're just such a man, I guess. Acting like you ain't gonna watch. Oh, I'm gonna watch, but they're all gonna be bad. Like, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey was not even fun bad, it was just awful. <laughs> There's not a single redeeming thing about it, past its, like, shock of Winnie the Pooh and Piglet being... Murderous. And I'm sure that's going to be the case for all of these. And no, I can't say I saw that bench. And yeah, we're entering the verse here. That's a big one. Yeah. Billy Cole. What a goofball. Billy Cole, one of the three trustees and co-founders of the organization, said initially we were putting on a Santa's grotto for local children who are disadvantaged and vulnerable and sending out selection boxes, but we were worried and concerned about the Omicron virus, the no crimbo virus as we call it. What? Who is this guy? The no crimbo, huh? Is this guy's brain AI generated? Jesus Christ, Billy. We decided that having too many people in and out seeing Santa would be a risk we would not want to take. The main reason is to safeguard us and our service users and wider community. But despite assuring that they would continue to distribute food parcels, fuel vouchers, and selection boxes, the team has felt forced to defend themselves against negative comments questioning their actions, uh, talking about what happened to all the donations of toys if Santa is the only giving out selection boxes, and Billy said... Some people on social media have questioned us and our integrity as an organization, asking about presents if we're going to keep them for ourselves. In my office, I can't move for donations of toys. What? These are people who have never stepped foot in our doors or used our services despite numerous invites from us. We are all about helping people in the community and enabling organizations to work together. We are a hub, a crisis support center. We work with local nursery schools and everywhere you will find people in crises and families who are in need. He didn't answer the question. What are you doing with all the toys that were already donated? <laughs> Billy's just still got them. Maybe he used them for the Wonka experience. Maybe that's what happened. It's such a weird hustle. It really is such a peculiar hustle. Like, it's not a lucrative scam either. And for some reason, it's always at the expense of children. So I feel like maybe Billy's got some, like, trauma he needs to work through. And the only way that he finds any kind of relief is through, like, ruining children's fun. <laughs> he feeds off their misery. Like some kind of dementor. Because you, you'd find a lot more success scamming adults. In this day and age, adults beg to be scammed. And just probably Siege tonight, Crow. I don't think I'll do any, like, bad games. We'll see. And I'm not sure. Maybe Stickly. Dude's an AI-generated R.L. Stein. <laughs> yeah, I guess kinda. Yep, the Willy Wonka experience just keeps on going. 
I re- and like I said, I really don't think he's suffering all that much. I, I don't think so. I think he's just keeping his name in the headlines for his next venture. Oh, hey, Freddy. Thank you. Jesus, thank you for the 20 gift sub drop. Good to see you, Freddy. I hope you've been well. It's been a while, man. Thanks, brother. Oh, yeah, and the AI-generated books. I didn't even bother touching on that. Yeah, he just publishes AI-generated books as well. This guy's just all about the weirdest hustles. Amazon is inundated with just shovelware books. Like, I highly doubt any of his are moving units. I highly doubt it. But, I mean, he's also making them for free. So I guess if he even sells one, it's a net positive. Thanks, membership space. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry to hear about the kidney stone. Hopefully it passes soon. Wishing you a speedy recovery. And yeah, I love Neo Arrow, so I've, I've played everything with it. The books are super cringe, too. They talk about QAnon and Epstein. Wait, that's totally... I thought it was going to be more kids' books. Wait, let me look at Billy Cole's books. Was that in the... Was that linked in this tweet? Because I thought this was all about the Santa event. No, this is just more about this. Oh, he did an interview. She came from Newcastle. She's actually booked a hotel overnight. That's an expense for lots of kids. They made a documentary on this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, you know, it's a lot of money. On the day of the event, Billy reassured everyone that they would get their money back. I didn't think he's even there. In per- I didn't think he was even there in person. I'm not a scam artist. I'm not a con man. I'm not anything like that. Set up and I do the transactions individually. They're still ongoing. If people haven't received a, a refund, I have gone through many emails and said to people, look, if you've not had your refund yet, please contact your bank because they may have processes in place to be able to help it. These are scams, kids. All right. But what about the AI-generated books? I want to see them. The 30-plus minute documentary on that is insane. Yeah, imagine throwing an event so cringe that someone makes a 45-minute documentary on just how fucking bafflingly cringe this scam was. That's impressive. It is actually impressive. Thanks for your sub slime. And thanks for the membership. Just Google Billy Cole Amazon. Oh, he actually used his real name for it? I thought he would have used like a pin name. Like JK Bowling or something. Billy Cole Amazon, you're right. Yeah. Okay, let's take a peek. There's only... Two books listed here. The Biohazard Protocol and Crimson Eclipse Chronicles of the Last Dawn. Is this right? Is this the right Billy Cole? Because it said that he made 16 books. Is it tier one, Evan? Yeah, all just AI generated books. But I don't think this is the right one. Uh, Here, I'll, I'll read the synopsis, I guess. In a world marred by the aftermath of a catastrophic solar eclipse known as the Crimson Eclipse, the remnants of humanity struggle to survive within the towering walls of the Dominion. Emerging from the ashes, a new society has taken root but the shadows of manipulation and deceit loom large. Crimson Eclipse Chronicles of the Last Dawn delves into a dystopian landscape where the battle for truth and unity unfolds against the backdrop of a chilling and pulse-pounding thriller. I mean, it's as generic as that gets. Like, that, that is exactly what an AI would spit out if you gave it the prompt. Thanks for some muck. Yeah, I know. It's interesting, Crow. <clears throat> that was super wholesome. Thank you for that, Mount Sime. And hope you're doing well. 
Click on his name and it'll show you all his books. I did, and it only shows me Biohazard Protocol and Crimson. Oh, nope, you're right. There was a different tab I needed to click on. Okay. He has 17 titles, all of which are apparently AI generated according to the article. Uh, the Memory Trap, Unraveling the Secrets of Memory Technology, Crimson Eclipse, Biohazard Protocol, Threads of Enigma. All of these are AI generated covers too, by the way, I'm pretty sure. The Hidden Bible. The Enigma's Resurgence, Threads of Destiny. <laughs> so I think what happened here is when he chat GPT'd like a thriller book. Here, actually, let me just take some pictures of this. Hold on. I think what he did is a when he AI generated like, hey, make me a thriller book. It spit out a couple different ones. And he just decided to use all of them as different books. So, <laughs> he's got this series, The Threads of Enigma, and then The Enigma's Resurgence, Threads of Destiny. These two are remarkably similar. The Hidden Bible, and then The Shadow Directive, Shadows. <laughs> that shit is so shadowy that even in parentheses there's shadows to let you know. That is dark. He's a gift sub void and the resub rich. I think all his plans are AI as well. Yeah, probably. His business strategy is all just AI too. I want to read the uh, the Shadow Directive plot summary real quick. The Shadow Directive is a gripping and thrilling novel that delves into the dark world of manipulation and the power of truth. The story revolves around Sarah, an investigative journalist who stumbles upon the mysterious assassination of a whistleblower. It was like Boeing. This event leads her to uncover the existence of a secret government program known as the Shadow Directive, a malevolent force designed to manipulate public opinion and control influential figures. Driven by her determination to expose the truth, Sarah joins forces with two allies, Cassandra, a tech-savvy hacker, and Aiden, a fearless resistance leader. Together they embark on a dangerous journey to unravel the puppeteer's hidden agendas and reveal the extent of their manipulation. Cool. Sounds like a real page turner. What about Threads of Enigma? The Enigma. <laughs> Threads of Enigma is a captivating novel that seamlessly weaves together the realms of art, history, and mystery. Through the eyes of protagonist Evelyn, readers are immersed in a world where hidden messages encoded within artworks lead to a journey of discovery that transcends space and time. Cool. What about The Enigma Resurgence? And an enthralling second installment of the captivating trilogy, the Enigma's resurgence, Threads of Destiny, Evelyn's journey deepens, leading her through a mesmerizing labyrinth of time, art, and history as she deciphers hidden messages and unravels the Enigma's layers. Her determination remains unshaken, even in the face of loss and adversity. This is so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> you can't keep getting away with it. Read the reviews on Biohazard. What is this... What in the AI is this? If I could give this book zero stars, I would. I ran the free sample through an AI detection tool. And then posts a picture saying that it's 88.43% AI GPT. Cool. Thanks for the resub, Dark Horse. God, this guy's so interesting. Oh, and here's the, the conclusion of the Enigma series. The Code Breaker's Enigma. Unraveling History's Secrets. Oh, actually, no, this is someone totally different. This has nothing to do... It's just... ChatGPT really likes the word Enigma. Or maybe Billy does. That's not even the ending. And here's another Shadow one. Shadows of Deception. Unveiling the Deep State Conspiracy... <laughs> Alright. Look up the Bible. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I know. I see the hidden Bible here. I'll, I'll read the synopsis. Now, all of them start exactly the same, by the way. This is the third one, I think, in a row that has this for the, the intro. In The Hidden Bible, a captivating tale of mystery and discovery unfolds as Emily... Like, all of them start with a captivating tale of mystery and discovery, manipulation, 
shadows, 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 shadows enigma, a curious and determined protagonist stumbles upon a forgotten manuscript that holds the key to unlocking ancient secrets. As she deciphers the cryptic verses within its pages, a journey spanning time and space begins. One that challenges the boundaries of knowledge, faith, and human understanding. Set against the backdrop of enigmatic symbols and echoes of antiquity. Jesus Christ. It has everything. Shadow, enigma, captivating tale, mystery. Yeah, that'll do it, Crow. Should do a red thread on Richard Jewell. Why is that name so familiar? Who is Richard Jewell? Uh, 48, Arrow. Do 48. We thought about doing that, Tim. Just never pulled the trigger on it. Maybe one day. You just don't understand his brilliance. The AI is copying him. Yeah, Billy Cole is who the AI trains off of. God, it's so interesting, man. I really want to know more about the love of his life leaving him because of the Willy Wonka experience. Maybe he really will move into trying to sell a docu-series on himself. My name is Billy Cole, and I lost my wife because I put on a cringe event. Things are sub gin. I was sick to the pit of my tummy. I was hoping for an event that would be joyful, happy. I wanted people to experience happiness. Even his responses are AI. I was sick to the pit of my tummy? What? What in the hairs on my chinny chin chin kind of statement is that? <laughs> Thanks for the bits, yo boy. Um, I'm excited to learn more about Billy Cole down the line, I guess. In my tummy, I had a whole host of emotions. I was hoping for an event. Yeah, I'll be hopping on seats here in just a minute. Why does he say tummy like that? I don't know, man. Yeah, he's still in character. I, I have no clue. How the fuck is his life ruined? That's what I said, man. I have no idea. I, I think it's just trying to milk it is all. Hey, no worries, Arrow. Enjoy it. Oh, I know all about it, Jamie. I'm very familiar with the game. Things are resub dazed. Oh, that sounds like a glitch, because we tested it and it should work. I can put in a message about the digital, though. Get it fixed. Thanks for letting me know. It worked on our end, though. Here, let me send something about it. Thanks for something incredible. Don't know anything about the Apex Finals. I don't know what they're going to do about it. I have no clue. Uh, they made a statement, though, that they're putting a lot of work into it. What rank are you at in Siege? Uh, bronze 1 right now, but I haven't played in the last few days. 
you start at copper, so it takes a little while to climb. You have to win a lot of games. Thanks for your sub pop. And thanks for that, Wicked. L take on Blumhouse. Brother, look at the... What? What take? They pump out some of the worst movies because it's going to make them money no matter what. Because the budgets are so small. What do you mean? Look at this list of almost nothing but stinkers over the last couple of, over the last couple of years except for... I think it's Black Phone, Five Nights at Freddy's, and... They had one more that wasn't absolute abominable dog shit, and I can't recall off the top of my head over the last three years. Oh, too far. So imaginary, dog shit, night swim, super dog shit, five nights at Freddy's, fine. Exorcist Believer, dog shit, totally killer, probably three people saw that movie, so I'm imagining dog shit, Passenger, dog shit, Insidious Red Door, super dog shit, Unseen, I didn't see that one, so I don't know, There's Something Wrong With The Children, looks like dog shit, Sick, I think I saw that one, probably dog shit, also came out in, in January, so most likely dog shit, Megan, good, Nanny, dog shit, I don't think I saw Soft and Quiet. I didn't see that. Halloween Ends, Super Dog Shit. The Visitor, Super Dog Shit. I don't think I saw that one. Don't think I saw that one. Don't think I saw that one. This one was good. What the fuck are these? I don't I don't remember. We're hitting like this this era of movies that I've never even heard of and I watch all of this garbage. But you see what I'm saying? It's mainly dog shit. It's almost exclusively dog shit. Thanks for your sub deceitful. The gift sub salad. And yeah, Nvidia's going crazy, Tom. Thanks, Charles. Yeah, we talked about the Dan Schneider apology. I want to hit champ at some point, Phoenix. I think that'd be great. And probably not worth it, Moonlight. And every single one of these movies has such a low budget that no matter how bad it is, it's going to make its move its money back. Well, actually, Imaginary has a higher budget than almost all of their films combined. Their VFX team went crazy on those awful monster designs, I guess. But it's usually like one to two million dollars, two to three million dollars. Jesus Christ! How did Night Swim have a budget of fifteen mil? No, no, what? That movie was shot in two locations. That's it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's high, That's got to be some kind of tax fraud write-off type deal. That is not a $15 million budget movie. They didn't even use VFX, really. I don't know where that money could have even gone. Maybe they're counting in marketing budget, because it wasn't, like, highly marketed. But, I mean, look at the box office. These all make a killing, even though they're legitimately terrible. So no matter what, these movies turn a profit... Five Nights at Freddy's also turned an astronomical profit. 20 million budget, 300 mil box office. Exorcist Believer, though, even though it's trash, still 137 million. Though that's nothing because they had to pay 400 million just for the rights to the Exorcist, so they're still super in the red on that. Insidious, more dog shit, another super success. Halloween Ends. Turbo dog shit. Super success. I don't know why more people don't... I've said this a million times. I don't know why more studios don't do what Blumhouse does. Just make cheap horror movies and pump them out. They will always, always, always turn a profit. Always. Without fail. When did that interview come out, Mason? Is that new? Because I did not see that. I 
how do they make money? I don't know, man. Just something to see for people. And they churn out so many of them a year. Yeah, I know about the sequel to Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Go up to their early movies, they're capable of quality. They're capable of quality, absolutely. They fund some really good stuff. Like uh, Invisible Man, I thought was a banger. Megan, I also liked, like even in recent times. It's not like they can't make good movies, it's just that they normally don't, because they don't need to. So they don't, they don't bother funding something that's going to be expensive and somewhat of a gamble. Jesus Christ, even Truth or Dare. Even Truth or Dare. The $3 million budget, $95 million box office. Oh my god, even Truth or Dare. That's crazy. See, like, they don't miss. They can't miss. These things are so fucking cheap, and yet they always can turn such a huge profit for no reason. I'd love to, Elijah. But what's cheap for a studio is not cheap for a person. What was Madam Webb's budget? Oh, Madam Webb's budget was actually super, super high. You can't compare those at all. That's a fucking Sony superhero film. I'll tell you, it was a lot more than three mil. Oh my god, even Unfriended. Unfriended. Million dollar budget, 16 million dollar box office. This would be a box office disaster for every other studio in the world except Blumhouse. This is a 16x return on investment. I don't know why more studios don't do it. I'll never understand why more studios don't do it. Probably won't get into that TCG, Hugo. We'll see, though. Thanks for two gift subs, Ultimate. It doesn't include marketing. The beauty is they don't need to market it, so they barely do. Like, there's very few movies from Blumhouse I see advertisements for outside of the YouTube trailer dropping. Sometimes they'll play before a couple films I see. Occasionally, it's not often. But they don't really run a lot of spots. I also see it occasionally on Twitch ads. But even that's kind of rare. I mainly saw it for, like, some of their heavy hitters like Black Phone. Yeah, absolutely, Deathman. It's just expensive. I'm not sure, Gino. Maybe the Dark Knight. Blumhouse also did Whiplash. Oh yeah, they did do Whiplash, didn't they? What was that, like 2016? Oh, they also did the Martyrs remake. I didn't see the remake. The original is one of the more disturbing films I've seen. It's a movie I still actively think about, too. That made a lasting impression. Thanks, Reese of Levi. The membership, Mason. Oh my god, Ouija Origin of Evil. Fuck, this movie was terrible. $81 million box office. They can't not make oodles of cash. Yeah, they had Get Out. What year was Whiplash? 20, it was 2014. What, in Tarnation? Movie was great, too. Thanks to Tier 1 Lotus. What do you think about the Nightmare on Elm Street reboot? It'll probably be terrible. Maybe Minecraft Deathman. What do you think she saw in Martyrs? 
I don't know, I kind of flip-flop on it. When I first finished watching it, the main thing I thought she saw was something that made her so excited that she wanted to go see it immediately, which is why she did what she did. But the more I think about it, I don't think that's the message it would have got across. I think it was something that took out, like, legitimately took away all of her reason for existence. Thanks, Resub Zero. Blumhouse also made a game division last year. I don't remember that. You think about the new Crow trailer? It won't be good. I don't think it'll be good. We'll see, though. Thanks, membership, G Patty. And no, I don't believe that, G Patty. I think there are, there are definitely a lot of people that cannot. Mm. That's the way to do it, Skywalker. Did we get an actual date on the Lollipop Chainsaw Remaster? I do not know. I've seen zero of those movies, Brendan. Yep, we already talked about the Winnie the Pooh horror movie universe. We were just talking about it. I think that's what even led us to the entire talk we just had on Blumhouse. I already forgot how we got there. No, I still haven't seen Sinister. That's one of those movies I want to watch. I've heard nothing but good things about Sinister, but I've never seen it. Apparently the sequel's terrible, but I've never seen the first one, and then everyone praises it. So I want to watch it. But I just never have. Oh, thank you for that, Zen. Thank you for the very long time of watching, Zen. Thank you so much. Is the tier one Gilbert? Sinister is really good. I know, man. Everyone says that. I'm going to watch it at some point. Sinister was creepy as fuck. I just can't imagine this movie, like, actually being scary. There's only, like, two movies I've ever seen that I would actually consider, like, unnerving to me to the point where, like, I was like, damn, that was pretty, that was a pretty startling experience. Hereditary, which I think is the best modern horror movie up until the last ten minutes where it just becomes generic horror schlock, and Martyrs, which I just mentioned. I don't even know if I can type this in on YouTube and have it be... Terms of service compliant because this movie is so extreme. Let me see what comes up if I just type in martyrs. Yeah, I can do it. Should be fine. This movie, I legitimately think is one of the most disturbing films ever made. Elvis the Alien made the mo uh, video on it and he covers it. And he doesn't even quite capture everything about it that makes it so powerful. Well, thanks for that, Mason. I'll definitely watch that. It's a French film, right? Yeah, so it's part of a genre called extreme... Extreme New Age French... Or extreme... Fuck, what the... It's been a while since I've gone over Martyrs. But it's like extreme French something is the category. And it is haunting. Like, it's not a movie that's just shock for the sake of shock like some of that dog shit, like, Serbian film. This is a movie that has such a deeply profound story with incredible acting and, like, a really thought-provoking message to it. Like I mentioned, it's a movie that I still actively think about from time to time. It was... It was a lot. Like, at first I didn't quite grasp it, I guess, fully, 
when I watched it, but the more that I like sat on it, the more I was like, damn, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's so hard to watch. It is legitimately hard to watch, yeah. Thanks for some s'more. Martyrs is the best movie that I don't recommend to people. Yeah, I, I could never in good faith recommend this to anybody. Because it is a lot. But it's not just like shock for the sake of shock. Which is what I thought I was going to be going into it. And no, I have not played those games. Is it scary? Like, horrific. It, there's no jump scares. or Well, actually, there's like two jump scares. But it's not that kind of horror. It's like a very psychological, very hard-to-look-at kind of horror. It's disturbing. And it's known mainly for its gore. But the gore isn't like what really will unnerve you. It's the characters in the story, in my opinion, that really get unnerving. Like the meaning behind it all. He's a tier one Astro. But it is extraordinarily gory. It's by far the most disgusting movie I've seen. True TA, they didn't catch lightning in a bottle with that one. And yeah, I've talked about that quite a bit, Minerva. I'll give you the concept. I don't want to spoil... The well, actually, I don't know if I can give you the concept without spoiling it. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. If anyone does want to watch it, I'm not going to spoil that. Because it's a, it's, it's a really interesting concept. I'm going to give Sebastro. And not yet, Ali. That's another movie i got to watch. I haven't seen that one either, Gino. You see Siege broke its all-time player count the other day? I did. Huge congrats to Siege. That was great. It was weak sauce, to be honest. Now, imaginary is scary. True, this guy, this has got nothing on imaginary. You're so fucking right. Yeah. Oh, I know the Fallout 3 speedrun very well. I won't be speedrunning it, though. It's pretty, it's pretty tough. That's a, that's a little much for me. Have you seen the autopsy of Jane Doe? Super creepy. I think I saw that one a while ago. Is that the one from 2016? 2017? Had a lot of hype online. Because there was one of those, like, autopsy of Jane Doe, the possessing of Lily Manchester, the possession of Grim Cheeseburger. Like, I've seen all of those, and they sucked ass. So if it was during that wave, then yeah, I probably saw it and didn't like it. Is he sub sarcastic? No, you'd like the Jane Doe one? Let me see. I I'm pretty sure I've seen it. What was it? The autopsy of Jane Doe? Yep, it's the 2016 movie. I saw this. I did not like it. I did not think it was very good. This was during that exact wave I was talking about, like the t the taking of uh, Deborah Logan, the uh, fucking the haunting of Sally Bacon Ranch. Like uh, it was like all of these movies were pretty much the fucking same thing.
Things are resub Satan. Movie called The Descent was good. I've heard of that one. I haven't seen that. I've heard that one's good. Another like classic that I haven't seen outside of Sinister is It Follows. I never saw that one. So that's another one I gotta watch at some point. <coughs> I'm very familiar with Karjitsu. We've covered Karjitsu before. And no, I, I only got the gist of it, Alucard. I didn't get to see the whole thing. You heard of As Above, So Below? Yep, I know that one. What game has the most realistic gore physics? Shit, man, I don't know. It's hard to say. Most games don't put any effort into that anymore, so I'm not sure. It'd probably be one of the older games, actually. That's a pretty cool, Arrow. That sounds like a fun class. Hey, congratulations on the sobriety then, Tyler. That's amazing. Keep up the good work. I'm wishing the best. Keep that good shit going. And I haven't seen the house that Jack built, thank. That's what Gino was mentioning earlier. He's a tier one Fimto. Do you like the Scream franchise? Actually, yes. I do. I do enjoy those movies. And yeah, we already went over the Pooniverse. We were just talking about that a little bit ago. Barbarian was pretty good. I like Barbarian. Thanks for your snowman. I did not like Midsummer. Really wasn't into it. I thought it was significantly worse than Hereditary. Thought it was a big step back. What's your favorite of Jordan Peele's movies? Oh, get out, for sure. Thanks, membership, Brian. And I'm still on Fishman Island Dark, so I haven't really been grinding One Piece. Have you ever done a horror movie tier list? It might be a fun stream idea. That is a pretty good stream idea, actually. I'm gonna write that down. That's not a bad idea at all. It'd be kind of nice, because I saw every single horror movie that ever hit streaming services from 20... I think it was like from 2015 to 2017. So like anything that was released during that period, I saw every single horror movie. So I've got a catalog of some of the dumbest shit none of you have ever heard of. So that's a pretty good idea. Maybe I will do that. Have you watched X, Kid Cuddy's in that movie? I don't know, that sounds familiar though. Is that the one that came out a couple years ago? The newer one? Talk To Me was good. I liked Talk To Me. I hated Lake Mungo. I heard incredible things about Lake Mungo. I think it was Chris Stuckman, right, that was hyping up Lake Mungo. I thought this movie was terrible. Terrible. It's one of those movies where like the horror is all just... You're convincing yourself that it should be scary, so you get scared. I don't know, I hated Lake Mungo. And I did see that Madison, I just haven't seen anything else from it. I don't think it's out yet.
These are prime nuts. I haven't finished it random, but I do know it. I started it. I'll take. Ah, brother, Lake Mungo was just so... Not only did I find the reveal to be extraordinarily obvious and extremely underwhelming, but the entire build-up wasn't even interesting to me. I, I just found the whole thing to be so lackluster. I guess maybe I went in with w went in with too high expectations with how much hype was around it, but I thought it sucked. I thought it was terrible. Oh my god. And I built I like built it up to Tiana at the time. I was like, this, this, this is going to be one of the scariest horror movies we're ever going to watch, apparently. This is, apparently, this is going to be one of the biggest ones ever. Sat down and watched it. We're fucking snoozing halfway through, basically. What do you mean, Void? And yeah, I'd be open to a chaos. And yeah, I'd like to at some point, Jimbo. It's more of subtle horror, and I think that's why it's beloved. Yeah, but it's too... <laughs> subtle is a very generous term for it. It's more like the absence of horror. Do you, think do you think they will keep up with the alien xenomorph design for the new movie, or will they change the design to look modern? I think they'll keep it. That's my prediction. I think they'll keep it. Martyrs is tor torture porn? It's not, though. That is kind of what it became known for, for like all the gore and stuff, but it is a movie that has an incredibly unnerving and deep message and concept. It's so much more than that. If it was just torture porn, it'd just be another throwaway piece of shit schlock film, but it's not. Then it'd be something like Hostel. You hear about Denuvo adding a video recording program to services so publishers can track down leakers? Yikes. Oh, everyone's everyone knows Rubber. I watched Rubber in college. I'm very familiar with that movie. <clears throat> Teeth. Teeth was another one of those movies that had such a mystique built up around it. I remember it was during the 360 era. When people were still watching, like, movies and shit from the Xbox dashboard. So you'd see, well, at least I'd see a couple of my friends watching Teeth. And then they'd hype it up like, man, that was so fucking disturbing. That shit was crazy. You're, you're not ready for Teeth. You can't handle it. And then, like, I never bothered watching it. But then a couple years later, I was like, oh, I remember Teeth. People used to watch that on Xbox dashboard and said it was, like, crazy. I'll have to check it out. And it was so fucking silly. Like, it seemed like it was self-aware in its silliness. And then there's like the uh, gynecologist who's like, Vagina denta! Vagina denta! Eh. It was a very cool movie. And then it set itself up for like a sequel I don't think ever came. Where she was going to be some kind of vigilante superhero biting wieners off with her vagina teeth. Never even heard of that movie. Ciao. Yep, saw that video, DJ. Missed opportunity. It's not too late. They can bring the vagina teeth girl into the Pooniverse. She can fight Winnie the Pooh and Piglet by biting their cocks off. They can still come around. Thanks, membership, Christina. I did not see the Demeter movie. This is, this is a super weird segue, but when I was taking a shit, I, I was closing some old tabs, and sometimes what I do is I write down things that I don't want to forget, 
<laughs> and this is an older note, but I, I recognized I never talked about it. Uh, I went to a strip club like a little while back, and there was there was a stripper there who like during her performance like stopped everything, like stopped all movement around her, like the other dancers, and grabbed one of the dollar bills. <laughs> and I was like, oh, she's about to do like some kind of cool magic trick. And then she got to the middle of the floor, put her legs over her head, put the dollar bill on her vagina, and shot it out like a rail gun with an air blast. She was like air bending it with, <laughs> with her pussy. So I wrote down in my tabs, stripper dollar air blast to remind myself of that. Because I wanted to talk about it because I was so fucking impressed with it. I was like, Jesus, the distance on that. And then she went for like round two on it and I was like, fuck. Jesus, she's got a cannon. And Vagina Denta just reminded me of it. <laughs> Did you tip her? <laughs> yeah, Caleb and I were just fucking like throwing ones at her. Do it again. Do it again. That's my favorite trick. Whoa. <laughs> how far did it go through the ceiling I thought she was gonna fucking blast the hole through it like you know how, you remember like in Tom and Jerry when they're spitting watermelon seeds like a, like a like a mini gun that's what she was doing with dollar bills in her pussy well with a dollar bill I guess it wasn't multiple I, though I guess if she had like started stuffing them she may have been able to I'm sorry to hear about the shit talking on that other guy. That's no fun. I've seen two out of four of those great demon. I think I can do the same thing with my butthole. Not without shitting. I don't think so. It takes so much force and strain, you'd absolutely just poop. That's talent, brother. No, I still haven't finished Final Fantasy VII yet. Not yet. Is it Prime Sleepy? Just finished Plague Seeker 1 straight banger. Fuck yeah, Henry. Glad you liked it. That would be an interesting trick, Raz, yeah. Alright, let's ride some Siege. Red Th can Red Thread do an episode on the folklore of Vagina Dinta? Not a terrible idea, I suppose. Alright, game time. Champion, here I come. He's a prime beefy in the resub clutchest. Whenever he wants, Jaden. Next resub Skynet. Next red thread topic is on the Boeing whistleblower. The one that was just found dead the other day. Suspected murder. Well, I guess not, like, officially suspected murder, but everyone that does any amount of thinking on it suspects foul play. Thanks, Risa Blong. <clears throat> I do know that movie. I know Tusk. He's a membership man.
Well, thanks for the 10 gift subs, Sillin. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Your favorite operators right now? Cali, Demos, Rook, Ace. Tonight we get out of bronze. The bronze barbarian is no more. We reach silver. Shooting for the stars. The saint of silver will ride. I'll check out the tweet then. Have a good night, and thanks for that. Twelve minute queue, I'm crying. Oof, that's rough. I don't know, Davian. I know, I know about it, I just don't remember if I saw it or not. It's been a while. Thanks for the membership. Quiz. You seen the new World of Warcraft Battle Royale? Plunderstorm! Yeah, it looks fucking terrible. That looked awful. I saw. Yeah, I saw the cancelled Spider-Man gameplay. If you hit a no-scope with Cali, I'll go bananas. I wasn't planning on playing Cali's, but just to make you go bananas, I'll do it. I'll have you jumping around hitting some crazy dance moves. Thanks, Devin. There's so many, Van. Uh, you could watch, like, any of the pros, honestly. Because a lot of the prep's going to stay the same regardless. And hey, Derg. Probably not, man. make a moist siege team maybe at some point that would be cool i've been super into it and yeah i know project zomboid i definitely wouldn't stream it there's a tier one sand <laughs> i'll do what i can dirk it's not up to me though Jackal and Finrear get banned every single game. Alright, this Cali no scope is for you. Go ahead and start getting stretched out because you're about to be running around your room in excitement when I hit this clip. Someone in your lobby just got banned. No, they didn't. They just pub. They just post every single person who gets hit in the ban wave. Is all. No one in my lobby got banned. Have you seen the movie Raw? I have not. It does sound familiar though. Seconds 
I think it's a gift sub northwest. Five seconds to go. Oh, I missed. A bomb must be located and defused. No, I'm sorry to hear that, Conky. That's fucking awful. I hope everything's alright. Thanks for your sub, Yuri. He's droning, so I'm not gonna bother. He'll ping if there's anything of importance. The diffuser has been secured. Firing level. Ooh, thanks for the huge drop, Alphonse. Super sorry to hear about that, Alphonse. I hope the, the times improve soon. Thank you, Ethan. Really appreciate the generosity. Alright, here I come. Gotcha. Cause tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Check this out. This one's for your mother. Peek me. I saw you. Okay, he pushed out. Damn! Yeah, built regular. Not construction not constructed in an unorthodox manner, unfortunately. That was sad. I thought he was just gonna stay back, but he pushed out. I could have had that. And I will be watching it, Grim, yeah. I'm doing alright, Loaf. Hope you're doing well. We need to locate a bomb. Just in case we get a demos here. Insertion in ten seconds. Can he fuck with demos? I really like him. I think he's a great op. Five seconds before insertion. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Can you get out of the fire? You're ruining my fucking... Oh god. My points. I can't believe I just missed that. Tragedy has fallen. And we just lost the teammate. It couldn't get any worse. Knocked. They just got worse. For them. Oh! Welcome back, Nude Beach. Just in time, sport.
Someone just get the fuck in there, huh? That a boy. Knocked. Not knocked? He's super low. Do I have the diffuser? You fuck with Zero? I haven't played Zero yet. I know that that's Sam Fisher, but I haven't actually played that op yet. <laughs> yeah, I've been watching Invincible. Invincible's still really good. Got him with the loop de loop and pull there. Insertion in ten seconds. Five seconds to go. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. Alright, time to pop off again. I still haven't hit that no scope that I promised you. So I'll hit it this round. It's gotta be this round. We can come push through this now if you guys want to. What are the odds? 0% you think? Probably 0%, right? Thanks, Raddy. We got anyone that, uh... Nope. No one to breach this, huh? Doing it the old-fashioned way. Damn, that was so close, too. Fuck, that no-scope was so close. Oh my god, it fucking- I- I pulled the chest hair off of him with that. He's a bitch rat. It was great, so, so I really enjoyed it. Oof. Alright. Didn't hit any of the no-scopes. Super close, though. Thanks a tier one professor. Thanks a tier one Peruvian spice. You mentioned struggling with acne. How'd you clear it? Accutane. I nuked it. That was the only thing that worked for it. Thanks, membership, David. Protect the bombs. Mm. 
Acne besides hormonal can be caused by bacteria. Wash your sheets, pillow, and face with antibacterial soaps too. I tried everything. Nothing worked for my acne. Literally nothing. Accutane was the single thing that worked. Where should I... Where should I play here? Nude Beach AFK, I think. Great. Love that, love that. Maybe I'll play back. I never really played... Oh, God. Ooh. I don't want to open that, right? Oh, jeez. Forgot about that window there. Now I'm in a terrible spot. I don't want to challenge that. Just to prove I'm not a bitch. In case anyone wondered. I'm not a bitch. I'm doing it. I'm challenging it. Where? Huh? Wait. Oh. What the fuck? I didn't see that at all. I had no idea you could even go that far back. What a shame. Whole, I had no fucking clue. I thought you had to be repelling in that window. No, not really, Rod. And I did not see that nuke. Next tier one tens. Thanks, Seth. Hey, there you go. You friendly remaining. That was an interesting decision. This would be a crazy clutch. Seems about right. Thanks, Yusuf Camo. Appreciate it, Abram. Thanks for the Prime Kings. I've been really enjoying Siege. It's been so much fun. <laughs> this one's looking like uh, probably curtains here. And this team's just kind of getting steamrolled. Why reinforce that? Don't you want to keep that one open? This is this is interesting. I mean, I'll I'll let them do what they want. I don't I don't know the setup either. I'll just play on. Well, I'm not gonna play on stairs. I'll just play back. Ooh. Where was he? Yeah, I think Demos is a lot of fun. Oh, 
I'm just gonna hold this back here, I think. I'm sure the boys got it up front. Okay. Jesus! Wait a minute! That guy's coming for scalps. Okay, don't throw. Just come back to sight, brother. Oh, God. That was a close shave. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that, Brendan. Thanks for the kind words, and I'm sorry to hear about it. If this guy would stop disconnecting, it'd make me a much happier camper. I'll say it. Pardon my French, but this guy's a big old jerk. Thanks for sub Karuto. He's back! Can he still come in? Or is it too late? Looks like it's too late. He's not gonna make it back in time. What a damn shame. I'm gonna play offsite. I'm just gonna play stairs, I think. I jump. I would have heard them come in over here, right? I think so. Oh, maybe not. I probably wouldn't have heard shit, to be honest. deep What does Nox's ability do again? Can't be seen on cams, I think? Or is he just silent? I do not remember. Can't be seen on cams, okay. Seems like they're all up. No, maybe not. They are running well. Okay, yeah, they are. 
I'm coming. Nice. Good shit. That guy hard carried with the, the cav there. I like review, bro. I think everyone likes review, bro. Alright, I'll play Ace, since we're not getting any hard breach for some reason. I'll do it. Hey, happy birthday, Zebro. Why do you think randoms never play hard breach? I don't know, man. Maybe they don't like the responsibility. They're used to living life carefree as just children. All they have to worry about is drinking milk and looking cool at the lunch tables. They don't know what it means to be a, a man. Fucking breaching doors. For this country. They'll learn. Your drone has found a bomb. Nope. Oh, thought I could make that. Ten seconds before insertion. Five seconds to go. Proceed to bomb location and defuse it. Kinda wanna play that glass spot. But I guess it's kinda pointless right now with Ace. I really liked that glass spot. Oh, shit. I almost really choked that. I just kind of panicked there when I saw a body. He's gonna try and pop out here, I think. I did not hear about that, your boy, but that sounds terrible. I'm just going to play this safe. Very easy. Methodical. Man, my recoil control is bad. I'm so happy that that accidentally tapped his little noggin. That would have been the saddest moment of 2024 and I would have uninstalled the game, ended stream, and probably wouldn't been able to sleep for days. Hey, congrats on making it in medical school, presto. Good shit. Take the bomb. 
Alright, let's see if we can hold her down. Thanks a Prime Stora. Do I want to do this as well? I think so, right? I'm just going to do it anyway. This feels right. And I still don't know the best reinforcement. Wait. Oh, fuck. Wait. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, shit. I got all mixed around. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh god, get me the fuck out. Jesus, I'm confused. Help, 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 help. Oh, shit, wait, I'm not- Oh, god, I, I thought I had clear. Oh, 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 <laughs> Help. My brain's lagging. Help. Oh, we're on West Coast ping. Internally. Thought I had claymores again. Everything just- <laughs> Be careful, Goyo, they're throwing uh, impact nades at us. Jesus Christ. <laughs> What I will do though is open that up. And I got an itch. Ugh, this couldn't be worse. You little bastard. Is he gonna try and go from under me? I hate the position I'm in. I, I, I threw this one to be honest. This is not where I wanted to play. Now I'm just gonna get bum rushed. Okay, calculated friendly fire. Miss input moment. Imagine I do this. Ah, oh, the pre fire. All friendlies have been neutralized. Damn. Thanks, Reese of AC. All right. Time to lock it in. Man, that one guy is popping on that squad. <laughs> is your butt itching? Yeah, I'm itching to put my ass in their asshole, brother. But other than that, not really. I don't know why you'd ask. Thanks to the Prime X-Fire. These are the five gifted members, Sultan. Five seconds. Appreciate it. You found a bomb. I have not seen that, Mason, but I did see about the squatter squasher who, uh, like, hunts down squatters and gets them to move out by just being really annoying. It's fucking awesome. That guy's a hero. Yikes.
So why can't I throw this on here? What ability is that that's preventing me from doing so? Oh, my toes. That's the mute jammer? Uh oh. Oh, I just missed that. How did I not hit that? That's so sad that I missed. Hold on, I'm coming with you. I'm getting nothing done over here. I didn't see you were okay. I wish you weren't blocking this. Okay. I'm trying to clutch up here for my city. He's low. He's so low. He's so low. Doc. Oh, wait, you're right. Shame. Well, is what it is. Not a bad first game, though, from me on a personal level, I suppose. Man, nude beach, though. He sold. Shit! Son of a bitch. Play some Demos Revolver God. Yeah, I want to, but I want to hit Silver first. And no one in this ELO is playing any Hard Breach, so it's got to be me. But if someone picks Hard Breach, I'll play Demos and do some Revolver action. I did not hear that spicy. That sounds like a fake story, though. It doesn't sound real. Thanks to tier one blank. Oh, so awesome. Well, thanks, Green. Hope everything's all right. Thanks for some flux. Thanks a bit, Mikey. All right, let's get crazy. I want to drop twenty kills in this one. Oh, I haven't played this map since coming back. I used to like this map. I'll probably hate it now, I bet. But I used to really like this map. I think tier 1 Toxic.
Thanks, New Zealand. And yes, I do. I'm a big Queso fan. Thanks, Prime Oscar. It's been so long though, I'm not going to remember the map. Like the actual layout. I remember the bomb spot up there. I remember that site. Unless they've changed the map at all in the last six years or whatever. You said professor. The map has been reworked. Oof. Okay. This will not be easy then. Five seconds. You've located a bomb. I remember you used to peek out here when you were feeling yourself. Oh, you can't do that anymore. This no longer looks that way, huh? It's too close. There's a resub fuel line. Okay, let me just... Highly doubt Tachanka's roaming, but I also just don't know where I am right now. Okay, this isn't looking very good, huh? I'll do it for my home team. Oh, let's click. You can run, but you can't hide. Fuck! Get back here! Mouse! God, Jesus Christ, I'm in my element. I tried. <clears throat> Thanks to the resublimerist. I maybe should have just pressed sooner. This team doesn't seem super good, so I might be able to get away with that kind of shit. I also didn't have diffuser, so there really wasn't a ton of plays I could make besides just fragging out. Alright, now I know. Thanks, Odd. If I had killed that Tachanka, though, from underneath, I think I win that. Because then I would have also got the pick afterwards as well. And then it's just a good old-fashioned 1v1, and I bring out the drones, and I get that revolver out, fucking blast him. Tell him, how do you do? Good day, good morrow. Kick him in the dishpan. Who, who, who? Drone has located a bomb. Oh, 
Uh. Okay. I, I didn't know where to hide the drone there. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to insertion. You've located a bomb. All right, let's just play fast. Fast and loose, boys. <coughs> we can outshoot them. We are all kinds of split up. I'm coming. I heard someone squeal. gonna drone that for the first time ever really oh operator remaining holy shit what I didn't know there's a staircase there I thought it was just that wall holy shit I even looked right over there and didn't see it fucking tunnel vision too hard Yikes. Thanks, Resub Dilly. How's my team getting steamrolled so hard, though? This shit falls apart, like, instantly for us. Alright, let's try... Maybe Glass and I smoke them in to try and keep them alive longer. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out ways to babysit them so they don't instantly die every time they look at someone. We'll try that. And we've got no breach. I'm going to have to go ace, I think. Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Breach doesn't fucking matter if my team can't stay alive long enough to even reach the site. Let's try it. Go Finca if your team is ass. Oh yeah, she gives that like a health boost globally, right? Maybe that is the play. <coughs> Is resub gym wool. The Finca health boost also gives ADS speed. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, chest. Oh no, wait. Did that miss? Is there... so where am I? Okay, this is just a bathroom, it doesn't go anywhere. Holy, that was close. Don't look at him, I don't trust you. Oh, that smoke did... okay, I'm so fucked on this. He's still there.
Oh, that's just. A... Where where is this? Is there? Okay, he just got two. Is there something over here? Oh, there's a whole hallway. I thought it was just a. I thought it was just a wall. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, this is not what I thought it was. Oh, that's Thorn. Uh. Uh. I don't know where to go. Someone just watch shield here, I guess. Maybe it should be me. Uh, he's pinging over here. Okay, we got it. Time for the comeback. Defense is easy. This is a defense sided map. CT sided. Okay, I can work with that. I can make that work. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Welcome then, Fallen. And that's awesome. Sounds like a great Halloween costume. This is the kind of map that you want to make, like, the feet holes for. And there's, like, two entries here. Like that. Uh, where should I? Where am I? How did someone already die? Oh. First dead. He's certainly living up to his name. Is he doing this on purpose? Like deranking? Is that a thing? For siege? I mean, of course it is. It's a game. It's just a thing for every game, I guess. But. I almost choked. I actually just fucking panicked so hard right there. I did not expect that. Everything's so close. So much closer than I thought it would be. Because it seems like such a big map. I saw the shadow. I think he's kind of lit. Someone repelling. Some little bitch coming in for some trick or treat candy. Man, I pulled the trigger on that so fucking late. Yikes, you got the candy. The 
bomb diffuser has been successfully deployed. Oof. Come on, boy. Oh, yikes. Scary. Oh, the other one's knocked, I think, right? Oh, no, he was just prone. Damn, he looked at him, too. I thought he was knocked. Yeah, definitely will at some point, Avatar. For a 3v5, it's not too bad. I do think these two are throwing on purpose, though. With a name like First Dead. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. Is it tier one spooky? Alright, I'm gonna use this guy's bait then if he's throwing. I'm gonna see if maybe I can turn that into easy kill opportunities for me. Oh, that's exactly what's happening. Yikes. Down to ten seconds. Yeah, of course we'll be playing Dragon Zogma 2 on release. Five seconds to insertion. Setting up. Bomb located by Op 4. Hmm. Thanks a gifted member, John. Okay, I'll use it. Oh, nope. Now he's moving. No, I can't tell him. Maybe this... Maybe he's just dog shit. I'm not sure. I thought he was just killing himself on purpose. Thanks to tier 1. Rake in the Prime Alpha and Risa Batman. Oh, it's super sweet. They did a great job, party. Found you. It, it came out really well. slow on that. Man, my reflexes are fucking shot right now. Uh-oh. He's low. Demos is still out there, I think. Hmm. I wish I knew this map a little better. I'd play a different spot. drone. He's gonna get a good shot of me in my pearly whites.
remaining. Oh, fuck. He's already in. Five seconds left. Yeah, he's on site. You're out of time. That'll work, though. Kaisen at type impact grenade. I thought he might have been low. That guy was getting peppered by my other teammate. I thought I could just kill him with the impact grenade. I knew he was coming up. I thought I'd just kill him, maybe. And maybe it made him even lower. Who knows? We'll never know now. Because I killed him with good old-fashioned American elbow grease and lead. Thanks for some meaty man, Negbert. Mm -mm. All right, come on, boys. All right, all right. Secure the bombs. Well, I do not remember this area at all. Holy shit. Is this a good thing to reinforce here? Because I feel like... I feel like I can just open this up and, like, kill through it. Like, that seems like a better use, right? Just impact grenade that and kill through? Yeah, just reinforce it? Okay. I, I don't remember this area even a little bit, so I don't even know where I'd begin to play. That seems... Awful for me. I also thought that... Okay. I just don't know this map at all. Hey, first dead got a kill! That's big. That's very big. I'm gonna move around. Try and find a place that makes sense to me. Maybe these stairs? Interesting. Fucking Captain Action over here. I already know I'm gonna end up headshotting him if he stays there. I just feel it. Someone's breaking through. I don't know where. I need better headphones. I'm guessing it was there. I don't know all the places he can be hit from there. Oh my god, I almost just blasted my teammate. Fucking jump scared me. He doesn't even know how close he came to meeting his maker right there. This feels like such a terrible spot I'm in. I'm moving. I, I, but I don't know where. More shit's breaking and I, I can't trace the genesis of it. Another OT. Maybe we can squeak this one out, though. First dead's coming alive. <laughs> He's the resub bodybuilder.
and Siege good again. I've been enjoying it a lot. I've been really, really liking it. I've been having a great time with it. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Yeah, of course I love Norm McDonald. He was great. Man was a legend. I was gonna reinforce or uh, impact that. I do not want to play stairs again. Well, stairs was working for me though. Ten seconds left. Five seconds to insertion. I think I'll just play stairs, I guess. I don't I don't know the map well enough to play somewhere else. This seems just like the most intuitive. There's a bit's fallen. Locking it down. Nice, the nitro kill. Jesus, that guy was ruthless. Reload. That was scary. No way! No way! He kept- I, I should've- Oh, he's so fucking low. Super low. Damn. I oh, got him. Uh, I should've- I should've just pre-fired it. I should've known he was gonna push it. What a throw from me. How can I ping off someone else's? I can't. Exit tier one big. Not from here. Oh, he's so low. Clutch. Holy goodness. What a clutch from that guy. One more, please. Uh, that was big. He fucking lat spread on him like a bat. All right, all right. Come on, baby. Take it home. Take it home. Uh, I'm gonna do Demos again. Thanks for some chewy. Alright, alright, alright. This is only the second game of the night. The first game was an overtime loss, but that was also a 4v5 because teammate kept leaving. So it doesn't count. Where's a good spot for drone? Insertion in five seconds. Alright. 
Let's cook. Oh yeah. Someone just threw nitro there. I think, right? That's about if that's nitro, that's about to be a fucking fatty. Okay. It was not. I guess I just don't know what shit looks like. I also just don't know where I am. Hold on. I think I got his toes there. Oh! This one I can't break right and no, I can't. I'm pretty sure I hit him once. I thought I heard it. I might not have though. Lip there. I'll grab us some intel. Got booted out of AR. Frag out. Throwing grenade. Scanned. Let me do that. Maybe that scared him off. Yep. Oh my god, he pushed out. He pushed out. Oh my god, I fucking threw it. I thought he was just gonna stay back. Please! Oh god. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Oh, and it's first dead. No! Anybody but him! Uh. My sweet boy. Never doubted him. One shot, one kill. That's all he needs. All right, we take it, we take it. Was that enough? Was that enough? Did I make it? No, I need one more. One more for silver. Dirty bastards. Ruining my elo. Why? Thanks for the bit, Seth. Thanks for the tier one, monkey. Do the battle pass tiers? Man. Maybe eventually I will. Things the prime missed.
and you come up with a dance and get into Fortnite? Brother, I have so many dances, they could choose from a myriad. I've got tons of great dance moves. I theorycraft bad dances for clubs. Here's the latest one I've been working on. I don't have a name for it yet, but I've got so many god-awful dance moves out the wazoo. I legitimately th try and think of some. Often. So I have tons. Thanks to tier 1k. Larissa Bernito. The Where's My Hug. Absolutely fire name for that move. That is a good name for it. Yeah, that one's the Where's My Hug. <laughs> I like that one a lot. That's a good name. Thanks for some more disc. We talked about that, Lachlan, yeah. We went over it. Thanks for the 10 gift subs, Peppermint. I appreciate that. And the tier 1, Ami. Thanks for you, Sub Dylan. There you, Sub J. Oh, thank you for the. Holy shit, thank you for the 5k bits, Dr. Pi. Holy lord, what a fat drop. Thank you for that. Appreciate the generosity. Yeah, Varlamore is coming out to RuneScape, I saw. Absolutely, Lopez. Happens a lot. Yep, I will be playing Rise of the Ronin, just not on release day. Uh, it comes out same day as Dragon's Dogma 2, which I'm going to play first. Oh, I hate this fucking map. This map is terrible. Shame. What a shame. One of them's playing Demos, otherwise why would he bother scanning that? Come back! I lost them. Oh. He's over there just making fun of me. Ooh, I'm lagging. Um, where should I play here? Uh, I remember... I remember this. Ouch. Thanks to the membership, McDongle, and the Prime J. Okay, we're both looking at the same angle. I'll just play behind desk, I guess. That wasn't a headshot! I'm gonna fucking squeal. He's so low. I'm just gonna self revive here, fuck it. Ah! <laughs> God. I couldn't turn fast enough. Should have revived earlier. Well, I didn't want to just get popped. I was gonna move over to the right where my teammate was, but they died. Last 
That would have been so nice if I did kill that guy, though. That was so embarrassing from him. Fuck. I still can't believe that wasn't a headshot. Thanks, resub. Easy yoy. Shouldn't have even come down to what it did. <laughs> this Tom Clancy guy is good, though. He clearly knows what he's doing. He was pre firing corners, holding clever angles. I like that. We got a we got a good one here. Secure the bomb. Now I just gotta whoops. I just gotta not be a complete detriment. <clears throat> God, I just don't know this map at all though. Oh! Holy shit, thank you for the fifty gifted members, Leon. Really appreciate the generosity. Thank you so much for that. Thanks for the huge drop. No, super sweet. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so the only way in here is this. Maybe I just hold this. I don't know. There's nothing that way. I won't make this easy for them. Op four located a bomb. Protect it. What? Wait, how do you get by me? Or did wait, huh? He must have gone the other way. Oh shit. My reflexes were too slow. That's the same guy from last game. Unlucky. I was aiming too low. One friendly operator remaining. Thanks, you resub, Jevito. Mission failed. All friendlies were eliminated. Oh, I know this one. I, I, I know this site. Oh, that was wholesome. Well, thanks for that, Aiden. That was super sweet. Five seconds in 
County. Op 4 has yet to locate a bomb. Alright. Where should I hold here? Maybe just here. Well, no, can you, can Window see me? Because if he is actually sniping, he'll just get that kill for free. I don't know if he is or not yet. He could have just reflex checked me. Sorry, I thought that was theirs. Whoa. from there. Right? I don't think so. Hmm. What the fuck? Last guy's that way. Right? I don't know. They're taking a lot of shots here that make me feel that he's not that way. I don't ah uh, I don't know. Ooh, thank you to 50. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, Leon? Thank you so much again. Reloading. If he is over there, you can just plant there. Down to 15 seconds. 10 seconds to go. 5 seconds left. Yep. He was over there the whole time. Just no diffuser, I guess. Coward. Ooh, thank you for the five gifts of Stone Samurai. Appreciate the generosity. Uh, let's do glass. He did have diffuser. What a bot. Oh, what an idiot. He probably thought I would have heard him trying to plant. Little does he know, I can't hear shit with these earbuds. What I need to do is get a better pair. What I'm not going to do is get a better pair, though. I know what I need to do, I can recognize it, but I'm not going to do anything to fix it. We need to locate a bomb. I'm doing alright, hope you're doing well, mate. Thank you so much for that, Leon. Thanks for resub zap, though. Super fucking generous, man. Who am I playing in? Glass. Okay. I forgot who I picked. Five seconds. A bomb must All right. be and diffused. I don't even know okay, he's confused too. I don't even know where we entry here.
so here. Oh. Shame. Just whatever you do, don't pop your heads up in case one of them's on the stairs. You have located bomb. Is this open yet? Oh, that's not breakable, right? Holy fuck, he stayed there the whole time. That- that is crazy patience. Why didn't he just refreeze the door? Oh fuck. I did not expect that. Yeah, that was, that was big. I mean, the team's super good. I'm playing like shit here, though. I don't know this map at all, and then I'm getting blasted. That, I, I didn't even know that lip existed, and I had no idea someone would stay there that entire time. That was nuts. He had the patience of, like, a Shaolin monk. That man said, I have no enemies. Just sat there. Menacingly. Alright. This is going to be my pop-off round, because, man, I am sucking some eggs. I am way off at the moment. I've got to earn this. i got to feel it. I, where, where's the stairs? Over here, right? Yeah. Must be the basement. Ten seconds. Was that another drop or did it just Five replay itself? Solution. If that was a new one, holy shit, Leon, what the fuck? You must locate Thank you so much. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Leon. No, this is ranked. I only play ranked. Hey, thank you so much, Bojangles. Hope the studies are going well. Where's that beat? Where is that coming from? Oh my god, we opened the left up. Fuck! I had no idea we opened the left up too. Shit, I was just looking at the right. I was just standing out there in an open. 
Damn it! Sad game for me. Play like shit. Thanks, membership jack. And the five, Latavia. Appreciate that. Yeah, I tunnel visioned way too hard. Man, I don't know what happened here. I've been playing great all night. Until this game. some sloth. Alright, let me swap off glass. This isn't... Well, actually, I mean, that wasn't a glass problem. That was just a not paying attention to what was open problem. Fuck, man. I oh, appreciate that. Thank you so much for it, Willie, and congrats on the upcoming baby. Who's got an EMP grenade? Actually, I'll just do Cali and just break it on the other side. Let's finish with Cali. Yeah, I just didn't notice it, Carter. I got two tunnel visions. All right, I'm I'm pop off with Cali, all faithful. Good spot for the drone there, too. Insertion in ten seconds. Five seconds. All right, come on now. Come on now. I do know this side here. How did he? Oh man, they fucking went crazy with it. This isn't even the site. I don't know where I am now. Oh, the site's the one downstairs. Shit, I totally forgot. Whoa. Nice. I didn't see anyone in that one. That whole game took place outside of sight, except for that last kill. Well, rough game for me, but we got the dub regardless. Man, I could not do shit in this one. That was a tough one. Not every game is going to be a banger, I guess. Did that get me to silver? Because that'd be a really sad one to do it. But I wouldn't complain. Silver. Uh, yep. Earned. Just better. Actually, just better. Legitimately. Oh, fuck yeah.
All right, what's my... Uh, I think that's 14 and 5 to get to silver, I think is the total so far. That ain't bad. Couple stinkers along the way, it's bound to happen. Not everyone's perfect. Even Jesus Christ committed a sin once when he flipped over a table in anger. So it happens. People make mistakes. But overall, fucking earned it. The Super Saiyan of Silver is here. It is not safe. Any low elo bastards out there, you might as well just clear the streets. Because there's a menace on the loose. A maniac. Things are prime epic. The bits perma. Oh, that feels good. Out of bronze. Just the way she drew it up. One more. No, I'm gonna call it there for tonight. That's a good one to stop on. Finally got the promotion. It takes quite a few wins to get out, or to go from copper to silver. Starting at copper five. Alright, I'm going to bed. Alright, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the generosity. Have a great rest of your night, everybody. Sleep well. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.